What's up guys, Tank Washington coming at you again. And if you watched my previous video, you remember me talking about petroleum based products being primer killers or so some of the folks in the comments of one of my older videos would say. After making my previous video, I got to thinking. A lot of people that actually tried the method, they never actually reported any misfires or any dead primers. And then of the folks that actually spoke on petroleum-based products being primer killers, they never actually said more than just the warning of petroleum-based products being primer killers. So that got me to thinking, is it really possible to kill a primer? Well, that's what today's video is about. Let's find out. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Well, the short answer is primer, it's the magic button at the bottom of a bullet that gets the party start. <laughs> no, but seriously, a primer is a small metal cup that is inserted into the base of a shell casing. There are two types of primers that are commonly in use today. The Boxer primer created by European inventor Edward Boxer and the Burdan primer created by American inventor Hiram Burdan. Both individuals were high-ranking military officials. The irony of the whole thing is that even though the Boxer Primer was invented in Europe, it's more commonly used in the United States. And the U.S.-made Burdan Primer is more commonly used in other foreign countries. But honestly, from a reloader's perspective, the Boxer Primers are a lot easier to reload. Primers are typically made of four parts. There's the cup which quite literally is a cup that holds everything else inside. Next, there's the priming mixture, which is a pressure sensitive explosive compound. There's a thin layer of foil that seals the priming mixture inside of the cup. Lastly, there's the anvil. The anvil is a small piece of metal inside of a boxer primer that causes the priming mixture to ignite once the firing pin hits the primer. The resulting detonation is what propels a projectile or bullet down the barrel of a gun. So what I've prepared today for your viewing pleasure is an assortment of different chemicals. We have vinegar, water, we have a cleaner degreaser, we have mineral oil, we have used motor oil, new motor oil, and some brake fluid. If you have any suggestions of any other chemicals that you'd like me to try, please leave them in the comment below. For our primers, we have Winchester primers and we have CCI small pistol primers number 550. Over the next five days, I'm going to let these soak. And with each passing day, I'm going to remove one and I'm going to test it to see if it's still alive or not. So like I said, over the next five days, we're going to check these one day at a time to see if they're still live, to see if any of the chemicals will have any type of effect on the life of the primer at all. And remember, when working with any type of chemicals, make sure you wear the proper skin and eye protection and make sure that you're always in a well-ventilated area. We'll be back with day one. Okay, and we're back with day one or would it be day two since technically we started yesterday? Anyway, 24 hours have passed since we started the experiment and now we're gonna check the results. As you can see, most of our chemicals still look the same, but in a few of them, something is definitely happening. But before we get started, remember, Safety first.
All right, we'll start with the vinegar. And what I'm doing is I'm taking out one of each of the brand of primer. If I can still identify it, because it looks like some corrosion has started to take place. Let's see, silver and gold. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load each one of the primers into an empty shell casing with no powder charge or projectile. I'm then going to load each case into one of my firearms and see if the primer is still alive or not, or if it's been affected at all by each one of the chemicals. Okay, so I've labeled each case with a letter that corresponds with each of the substances that the primers are going to be soaked in. And now I'm going to load the primers into the cases and then I'm going to go outside and test them out. Mm -hmm. All done. Now let's head outside. Okay, so we're out on the range for this particular portion of the experiment. And I am going to be using my Steyr M9A1. Yes, the weapon is indeed safe. No magazine, nothing in the chamber. I've got each of the cases. I've got a magazine for support. And I've got a note card to take notes of what the results are and remember when using live fire always have hearing protection
So after reviewing the video from the day four test, I noticed something interesting that happened with the vinegar and the water soap primers. Now, I will admit that on day four, it took me a little longer than usual to set up things to record out on the range. And it is very possible that I gave those primers enough time to dry out. So I decided to do a second set of testing with the water and the vinegar. So what I did was I put new primers into fresh vinegar and fresh water that had not been affected by the previous test. I let them soak for a day and then I allowed them to dry for a day. And then I took them back out to test them again. And the results were quite interesting. Now, one thing you'll notice throughout the entirety of the test is that in certain compounds on certain days, when I pull the trigger, there is an audible click, but you can't tell if there was ignition or not. And in a lot of them, it seems like there wasn't any ignition. So what I did was I went back and I pulled the primers from each case and surprisingly, in every single case that was fired, there was some sign of an ignition that taken place. With that being said, can you kill a primer? Well, with the chemicals that I used, I'm going to say no. Will they affect the ignition of a primer? Definitely, yes. Do I believe that there is enough mineral oil inside of my original case lube to have an effect on a primer. I'm gonna say no, but then again, you be the judge. Again, 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.